I am Lizzie with Long Distance Gamers and today I'm going to be unboxing the Journey Home expansion. So this is an expansion for Post Human Saga. I actually covered this in its prototype form. So I'm going to do a little mini review on what I think about it, what I thought about the uh, prototype and what I think about these finalized components. Okay, so here we have the box. So on the back has the contents and your quest to scope out the slave camp. You've gone deep into mutant heartland, further than anyone from the resistance has been in years. You've seen cruelty, horror, and tragedies that will stay with you for the rest of your days. It's time to let your path take you back home to the fortress. It'll be a long way, eventful journey, taking through uncharted territories. Along the way, you'll have to plenty of occasions to gather intel for the resistance, help out strangers and allies you've met, strike another crucial blow or two in the war against the mutants, and garner even more renown before you walk back through the fortress's gates. Okay, so we have lots of components. And this did come separately. It's an introductory story for Journey Home, a little bit story-wise to get you back into the story. Uh, so if you want to read that, eh, if I can get it centered. Yeah, you might want to pause to read because that would take way too long. But there you go. Yeah, I wonder if this is a sticker. The back feels weird. Uh, but here are the additional stories that you can use or that you will use with this. Uh, the rule book for just the expansion, which is nice. Okay. And it also includes... The solo mode, I believe that uh, it's gotten much better. And then we have uh, new scoring objectives, or is, no, this is the solo. Yeah, this is a solo only board. Yeah, so I'll have a couple of those. Okay, choose A or B. And then we have quite a few punch boards. They punch out very nicely. And these story ones we will just add to the bag for the main game. Okay. There we have it. We have some more of these cards. So we have a couple more followers. Then a couple stories that are locked adventures. We have some more equipment. Here we go. So we have two new characters. Uh, the cult leader. Oh, what is his name? I think it's on the back of this. Um, does it have it? No, I don't think so. Oh man. He was the one I played with during the, uh, oh wow, so there's a whole lot more of these. So he was, this is the one that I played with, and that was the one that was available in the prototype form, so I've never gotten to play with the cult leader. We'll go ahead, Tracker, I think. Is that who he is? Ah, that's going to bug me if I don't find out. Uh, yeah. Wish that it was a two character minis. Does it say the cards? Yeah, tracker and cell lead or cult leader. So here's the cult leader. Cannot wait to paint her. She looks gorgeous. Love the detail. Okay. And then we have the tracker. Okay. So these cards, they have the same concept for you know you can get damage or defense and damage both ranged and melee uh, these are things that are specific abilities or whatnot that you can upgrade with so they could get special skills throughout the game 
have some more cards. Ah, if I can get this open. Should open relatively easily right here. Yeah, it's, that's the spot. Ah, there we go. All right, there we go. Okay, so we have some scouts with different goals to get, different recon missions to go on. We have more of these baddies that we can encounter in different levels of them. Ooh, that one looks kind of freaky. This one will probably not agree with my pink screen very well. Yeah, of course not. But yeah, that one looks cute. Okay. And then we have some location story things, stuff that will come out during it. These are the landmark ones. So we have, what, four new landmarks? Okay. And then some character specific. These are what our stats would start at as. Team versus, so you can play team A and team B. And solo, and then some of these just lots and lots of stories that you can go on. That it'll tell you when you can get a hold of these. But there's that. Looks like more cards to go with them. Okay, if I can. Looks like I'm getting this one open easier. Yay! Okay. So we have more, more, more. So now what we will get is some of these are public objectives. And some of these are private. So like this would be, these ones are the public ones. And you complete those whoever is the first one to complete them get some and they'll give you a number that you get to unlock for in here and it'll show you different things that you can get if you follow those which the public objectives is something that's different in this expansion which I do really like those and there's even a baddie in here, it looks like. I thought I saw. Yeah, there we go. But we won't go too far into it. But just lots of different ones you can go for. But that's it. I don't believe there's anything underneath. Yeah, nothing underneath. Okay, so Postman Saga, the Journey Home Expansion. That's what you get. So the main, main part of it is, well, you, the two new characters, obviously but also you get to get public objectives versus private and then you get quite a few more stories that you can go to just add a little bit more flavor to this post-apocalyptic world so i did really love the expansion i think i rated it a nine and a half out of ten if i remember right i know it was pretty far up there because it was just what i rate the base game because it was just more of the same goodness that you loved with a little bit of a twist. So it's not like there's gonna be super large rules overhead to learn with this expansion. I mean, it's uh, it's only a few pages because here starts the solo mode. So you have a little bit of changer and setup and then two pages of rules. That's it for the new rules. So not too much to learn while it does provide a lot of content. So that's something I do love about expansions. So yeah, so I do definitely agree that this looks great. I love the cards are the same quality as the base game. So everything looks like it'll fit in very seamlessly. So I'm very excited to get this. And I think I'm going to go ahead and play a solo game of it. Just for kicks and giggles. But until next time, just remember to have fun. Be present and be you. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. Also, if you find value in our content, please like, comment, or subscribe. Let a friend or family member know that we exist. Help us spread our channel and bring remote gaming to a table near you. Thank you very much and have a great day.